My name is Lauren Rathmel. I'm the Greenhouse Director and Co-Founder of Lufo Farms. So we have three greenhouses now in Montreal. Our first site, where we are right now, opened about five years ago, uh, the world's first commercial rooftop greenhouse. Since then, we've opened one in Laval and another, the largest actually, in Anjou. Our vision at Lufa Farms is to grow food closer to where people live and grow it more sustainably. Lufa Wars subscribe for a weekly basket with us. You can go on our online marketplace, pick and choose exactly what you want. At each of the greenhouses, the team picks to order for that day's baskets. By mid-morning, they're all assembled and ready to go, and they're delivered to pickup points in the afternoon. It's really important to find a role model or a mentor or just a really good friend or family member that can give you insights. The main role models I have are my parents. We grew up in Vermont. We lived on a farmhouse for 10 years. It was an experience that has made me who I am today. I came to Montreal to go to McGill. I studied biochemistry. Myself and my co-founder actually started discussing this idea. So how do we come up with an alternate food system where, you know, where you, people can get direct access to fresh local food? On a typical day, first and foremost, I'm checking on the greenhouses and the plants. Everything's automated here, so I'm on the computer checking climate graphs, you know, checking on things that the plants need and making sure that the conditions are good. In the greenhouses, we have about maybe five people per site that do the management, the pruning, the harvesting. Um, I'm so I'm also the marketing director here, and that team is its really small. We don't have a very big team, but we have three people on the team that I'm talking to, you know, day to day to make sure that everything from our, our weekly email that goes to our lufavores and social media and things like that. The top misconception with urban farming is maybe that they think it's dreamier than it is, maybe. <laughs> There's this very romantic vision of what farming and urban farming means. We're a for-profit company, right? So we have to get, you know, get stuff done. So I think it's really important that people also have that perspective on things, that this is you know, a company that has to grow and efficiency is important, time management's important. It's like work-life integration, I'm always on. You know, if I take vacation, it's still you know, I'm checking in and making sure things are running smoothly. The thing about running greenhouses and growing plants is it's kind of like a hospital. They have to be taken care of, right? So you can't really just skip a day and pretend they don't exist. Overall, as a company, we're 120 employees. We've grown a lot. We've gone from shipping just a few hundred baskets that first summer in 2011 to over 9,000 baskets today. With that growth, come growing pains. I think it's been hard to keep up. So some of the challenges are just like, how do we grow on a rooftop? How do you grow lots of different varieties in the same space without using pesticides? All this stuff is not standard knowledge. And so we're kind of creating an industry and creating a methodology around it. I think that's the most exciting part to be pioneers on the forefront of urban agriculture. So urban agriculture is this kind of new industry that's taking shape. And there's a lot of other opportunities. You know, you've got open air farms on rooftops are just Community gardens still counts as well, and true indoor farming. And there's just so many different models, and they're all kind of coming together to help feed cities. In the farming side of things, plant science is probably the main realm that is always good to have a foundational knowledge in. Any kind of background in science is really great. It just gives you kind of that analytical thinking. You're able to approach things like growing plants with the right mindset and being able to solve problems and test hypotheses and things like that. Business background is great, obviously, because this is a new field, new industry taking shape. So any kind of contributions that can be made on the business side of things, but especially in leadership and managing a team and knowing how to be the one in charge. I think you have to be motivated by the vision or the mission in whatever you're doing. Uh, if that's not there and you don't have a passion for it, you won't work out.